to a story of the past meeting the present. Brandon Tina was a trans man born here in Lincoln and murdered in a hate crime in the late 1990s. Recently, Lux Center for the Arts unveiled a mural that memorializes him. And just this week, LB 574, which limits gender affirming care for minors, went into effect. So we wanted to get a sense of how this painting fits into the bigger picture. 1011's John Grinvald spoke with some of the people involved in the project. He has that full story now. When 48th Street opens in full, thousands of people will see this mural every single day. It's the first of its kind honoring Brandon Tina, and it's loud and proud at a time when trans issues are increasingly in the national and state spotlight. In just two weeks, tattoo artist Wes Staley turned a two-story wall into a canvas. At first, it seemed like a daunting task. I didn't know that it was going to be that big when I applied for it. I assumed it would be a panel, you know, that would go up on a wall or something. Um, so that was kind of a shock when I saw the, the scale of what it needed to be. But Brandon's story of a trans man killed because of his identity has been important to us all their life. It was extremely important to get it right um, and to do him justice so that he could have the dignity um, at least in that mural that he was never afforded in life. Wes, who came out as trans in 2011, didn't make a mournful memorial. It's a sparkling rainbow line celebration complete with messages of hope. It's OK to be yourself. But this mural comes at a time when many trans people, especially trans youth, say they don't always feel comfortable being themselves. So we're kind of walking this very thin line right now of yeah, it is technically safer to be more visible and to be more loud about ourselves, but we do see an increase in, in violence against our community. That's why Lux Center sponsored the mural. It's important for us to make a stand about that. The policies of LB 574 went into effect this week. And while Out Nebraska is still reviewing the specific implications of each regulation, it says the law is making it hard for trans youth. They definitely do put barriers into place for young people seeking care um, and place the government between families and their medical decision. Now, this stretch of 48th near where Brandon grew up is pulsing with construction. But Wes says they want the mural to be a ray of hope and a bit of instruction for years to come. LGBTQ history is not taught in schools. Um, we don't learn about it. We have to seek it out on our own. Wes took that history and painted it for all to see. This mural is one of the several sponsored by Lux as it aims to turn University Place into a more inclusive and creative environment. Reporting in Lincoln, John Grinvalds, 1011 News.